Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see an another activity for class 12 applied mathematics. Activity number 8. This is about how to create a demand and supply curve using Excel. For that, we need a data. So here I have given you a table with the price, demand and supply. Generally, this will be our question part. We will be giving this question to the children to make a graph using Excel. The procedure, how to create the table, the procedure is given in this Word document part. The same is demonstrated here too. So, the demand and supply details is given in the table. For getting a graph just select the entire table price demand as well supply go to insert select the chart that is a uh, scatter plot chart click that in the different variety of uh, graphs will be there i am selecting this curve graph because it is a curve i am selecting this curve graph right now the demand and supply curve is ready but in general, when we analyze the data, we used to keep the price in the vertical axis so that for this price, this is the demand. For this price, this is the uh, supply. Likewise, it will be generally, it will be easy for us to analyze. How to change this axis values? To change the axis values, just click on the graph you will see a pop-up table in that select the option of select data click this option you can see in the x-axis demand and supply is mentioned in the uh, sorry in the uh, y-axis vertical axis demand and supply both are mentioned in x-axis the price is given just remove this data one by one just click all the data are removed. Now you can see the graph is vanished. I am going to add the things such a way I can analyze the graph easily. So add another pop-up table is here. In this, first give the series name. I wanted to create the demand graph first. So I will give the name demand. No need to type the naming. Just click the demand box. In your table, see here, in our table, one second, just yeah, here I right click, I select the option of select data, I removed the demand the supply all the data everything removed now i'm giving add button there is a pop-up table in that i will give the series name first i wanted to get the demand portion so click the word demand from your table the series name is ready now series x values in that in that i want the demand details in the x for that only we are changing now to select the demand details. Now the demand is displayed in X value. In the Y value, series of Y value, go back and remove the number displayed over there. Just select, after removing the number, select the prices. Now the prices are displayed. Immediately you are getting the demand curve. It's a downward curve. Click OK. Now the demand is ready. The demand portion is represented by the x-axis and the price is represented in the horizontal axis, uh, vertical axis, the y-axis, right? Hmm. Now again, add, same like the previous time, series name, click the word supply from your table, then series of x value, Select the entire supply column. Then go for the series Y value. Just click back 
and then select the prices. Give OK. Right? Now the demand and supply curves are properly represented along with the y axis, the prices in the y axis. Give OK. Now the perfect graph is ready. You can see the point of equilibrium where the demand and the supply curves intersect. This is our equilibrium point. So always the demand curve is a downward curve and supply curve is a increasing upward curve. Now the graph is ready. So like this, you can create a perfect proper demand and supply curve which will be easy to analyze. Hope this video will be helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Bye.